Right. Come to this website. It's linked in the description. If you're on Windows, go Windows 64 and download this. If you're on Mac, click on this one and download this one. Once you're done, you want to extract it. I'll have a link to 7-zip in the description as well if you don't have something to extract zip files with. So click on this once you have it, go extract. Now locate where you downloaded the file to and find the extracted file right here. For me, it's in my downloads, but wherever is comfortable for you, wherever you put it. Once you're done, put this file in a place that's comfortable for you. Open it up. Open up MC Edit 2. And the program's good to go. Now, I suggest closing the program while we go on to the next step, which is actually creating the structure. Now, you're in a version of Minecraft that is compatible with the software. And by compatible, I mean something 1.12.2 or lower as anything higher when I tried to use an MC edit just crashed the software. Now make your map. In my opinion, pick super flat, creative mode to just make it as easy as possible for yourself. Name it something you can distinguish from the other maps for later on. So say you're trying to make a simple looking tree and this is the structure you want. After making it, you would simply save and quit. Go to MC Edit. Open it up. Now, when you open up MC Edit, there should be a, a list of your single player files. So just scroll through here for what you called the map. In our case, Structure 3. Go to the correct Minecraft version as well. Once this is loaded, go edit, and you'll see your structure here. Now you can use WASD to move around and right click uh, on the program to look around to adjust yourself. Then just right click when you don't want to be looking around again. Now to highlight it, just click anywhere you want, drag this out to the right height. Put yourself in an easy perspective to be able to drag the select box out to the right areas. Just hold left click and drag across. On the surface that is highlighted is the one that will be edited. So you can just fine tune it so it can be as small as possible. So in World Painter, you can have it the exact way you want. Once you're done, go import slash export. Go export schematic. Now it will automatically go into the MC edit file, but if you want it somewhere more comfortable, let's say desktop, just go wherever. You can create a custom file for it if you want, but we won't right now. And we'll go, we'll call it quick tree. Go save. And the schematic is done. Now you can leave the program for that specific schematic and open up world painter this is the default map so if you go over to layers click the little plus sign down here and go add a custom object layer now click this little block plot with the little plus locate to where you've saved the file for us it's on the desktop and we call it quicktree.schematic and you'll see it right here you can go open up You'll see the density of the trees and you'll see how it looks like on a map. It's always overly dense in my opinion. So you'd go like 500. So you'd go like 300 or whatever's comfortable and go OK and then you can work from there. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. It would mean a lot. Bye bye.